first read the script, it was very clear that there's never been anything like this ever. And the fact that Lionsgate was attached, Point Grey, the fact that they're gonna make this a big theatrical release, that's unheard of. To be a part of this film, I have chills. I feel so extremely lucky. And, you know, I just can't wait for the ripple effect of representation because this film, at the core, is about friendship, is about belonging, and we just happen to be Asian. We're going on a wild adventure. There's drugs, there's <laughs> K-pop, and we just happen to be Asian. You know, I, I feel like we're touching on a lot of global universal themes and, you know, just normalizing the fact that we deserve to tell these stories our own way, reclaim our identities, and, you know, make fun of ourselves. So there's a lot there. <laughs> I play this like well-known actress in in Asia and in, in China and I remember when I first read the part I was like you know I had already filmed everything everywhere but I, I hadn't come out yet and I remember thinking to myself like I can't play a movie star like oh they'll never choose me for that and so it's really kind of wild and surreal to feel how even through this movie, moving through all the insecurities or doubts I had about myself and to feel what a journey it's been since even just last year at South By and getting to be here now with this movie and the what I represent for, for us, it's, it's really special. Early on, we wrote this crazy bad shit movie, and we're like, who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna trick into making our movie? And Lionsgate was just like, we, we will do this. And Point Grey, they were our amazing partners in this. We have like our favorite movies, you know, like Good Boys, like all of Seth Rogen's work. And they know our rate of comedies forwards and backwards, and we knew they were the exact best partners for us in this. Um, so we went, we went with our nasty script, and they did not tell us to back down. They were just like, go for it, go hard. When I first got the script, I, was, I, have, I have never laughed out loud and cried while reading a script for the first time. So I was just so psyched to be part of this like rated R, raunchy, heartfelt comedy. I can't wait to see it tonight with everybody. Um, I haven't seen the whole movie as it is, and to be able to watch it with um, my three other leads and just like everybody together is just gonna be the best. I've seen this movie, it was so fun. It was insane. This is my. This is my first role, and on the first day of shooting, I did for some reason have to run upwards of five miles, and I was like, I don't know if I am athletic enough to be an actor. But genuinely, like, it was just like a wild, fun movie. It was great to flex my comedy muscles, and it was fun to just like round a character that, you know, that is weird but is is cool, and then you know, I personally, I hope a lot of people can connect to. The cast is amazing. They are a party when they get together. Ashley Park, we always knew she was going to be the lead. All of them, really, as soon as they auditioned, we were like, oh, that's it. That's it. They've nailed it. So Sherry's amazing. Sabrina's amazing. Stephanie Shu, obviously, you know, Academy Award nominee. So, yeah, we are very excited um, to have gotten them all at this stage in their careers because they're going to blow up. Ashley is so funny and so incredible. Uh, she likes to say that she's not funny, but she's actually really funny. Uh, Sherry Cola, of course, is just always hosting, always just such a positive presence, so hilarious, always coming up with her like funny improvs, funny bits. Stephanie Shu, I mean, I guess she won, you know, was nominated for an Oscar or whatever. Uh, I guess she's talented, um, but she, the, the fact that she gets to kind of showcase her comedy chops in this movie is really exciting. Uh, and then Sabrina Wu um, is amazing. They're an incredible comedian. I'm really excited for this to be a real breakout role for them. Like if you turned up and didn't have fun making this, you'd be, you'd be a pretty miserable person, oh I would say. Yeah, yeah, no. He's fun. I mean, like Clarence is such a pure soul and, and just so unaware of how sometimes dumb and naive that makes him look, which is just, I mean, it, it, it's not something I get to do very often. So yeah, had heaps and heaps of fun. You know what's interesting? Like, I mean, Seth Rogen, I've seen most of his work. I remember when he first featured on Freaks and Geeks, and his career has grown so much since then. Uh, he's made so many people laugh. It was really cool. It's just like, it's crazy from like going from spectating to working on a film with him. You know what I mean? It's crazy how small the world is. <laughs>